Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out in Geneva, Illinois at the Geneva Concourse. And I'm with Lou. Lou, what's your last name? Lucius. And he has got a great car. Tell us what you brought today. It's a 1959 Jensen 541R. And I can't recall seeing one of these. About how many do you think there are out there? Well, they made uh, 193, 193 of them. And there's approximately a dozen or so in the States, and the rest are over there in England and the rest of Europe. How long have you had this one? I've had it since 2013. Why this one out of all the cars in the world? Well, I knew about the Jensen 541s, and I always wanted one, and I like unusual stuff, so that's why I purchased it. It fit the bill. Yes, it did. <laughs> Come on alongside me. Let's take a look at this one. It has the right-hand drive. And while I'm here in the front, please show me how that little lever works. I want to show this front grill section. Let me show you what we're looking at here. And then it works like this. So that shuts so it'll warm the car up, and then it opens up like this once you're driving. We'll just push that open right now so it'll open up when, when you're driving. There it is. <laughs> what a clever idea. And with that, I'm going to show you this a little bit later, but this is how it opens. And even like look inside the headlamps, you have the J's, these wonderful little markers, and the unique badge. It's starting to rain, but we're going to do the best we can today. We'll do what we can with what we can. Let me step back here and show you this car from the side. It has a lot of look of the Aston Martin, doesn't it? It does. Front. Oh, yeah. Is it that where it was? Come on with me. So you said yours has these fins on the side and some of them don't. Tell me about yes, that. These are basically like eyebrows, similar to the Mercedes uh, 300 mm -hmm. SLs. And we've got, look at the unique tires, all correct. And we've got brakes that are discs. Four wheel. Four wheel. So I'm going to show that. And there's your discs back there as well. You can even take a look at the Dunlap tire inside there. Side, when you turn your side lights on, these or side markers, these, uh, these come on? Turn signals. Turn signals. Look at the back. I'll take one more step back. Let's take that in. Such a unique back window. Let me show that from the side. This is a Lexan window, too. What does that mean? Is it plastic? You know, plastic, basically. And okay. the whole car is basically fiberglass. Okay. Tell me what other unique features drew you into this car. Well, it was actually the look of the car. It had a look I really enjoyed. That's why I purchased it. When you're driving this car, Lou, what's the reaction from people when you're driving it? Yeah. Well, I get a lot of looks, that's for sure. Yeah. They don't know what it is. <laughs> Are they just snapping pictures and thumbs up? And Oh, yeah. A lot yeah. of thumbs up on the car. <laughs> We've got the perfect position in to get a good shot of the side of it with that design. Let's take a look at the interior. Obviously, the back tire right there as well. As you can see... And these are turn signals, which I added. Okay. They didn't originally come with the car. Okay. But for safety, I added them back there. Yeah, good idea. Safety is always a good idea. If you can open that, please. Now, you said the doors are aluminum. Yes, the doors are aluminum, but the rest of the car is all fiberglass. And this is all leather in here. Yes. And this is the uh, door pull handle. And look at the simplicity in the seats. Flat piece of leather. Let's take a look at your view out the back window, your look around the interior. The overdrive 
How many speeds? Four. Four speed. That's pretty. That's pretty uh, d good for the time frame, right? I mean, usually cars were three speeds. And it smells like the car is brand spanking new in here. The fog lamps. The starter button choke. What's this one, Lou? That's uh, the backup light. Backup light. Okay. Let me show the perfect hood liner smoothly going into the back window. And let me show these door sills because they're unique as well. These aluminum feel door sills. Like so. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? What do they call it? The bonnet? Yes, the bonnet. So this is how this works. You, he undoes these with spin. Yeah, it's spin. You undo them. Actually, this is to lock them, and then you double lock them like that. Okay. So this unlocks it, and it comes off, and then you grab and pull, like so. Your horns, your hood latches. So what do we have under the hood here? It's a six-cylinder, four-liter engine. It's an Austin, the Austin engine. No power brakes. No power steering. Look at all the... I love all the little badging. The body number. Is this a six volt system? No, it's 12 volt. Okay. And the carburetors on the side, very similar to a Corvette in that time frame. Those are SU carburetors. Okay. Typical English carburetors. Okay, so the Stuart Warners, right? Is that the SU? No, it's not Stuart Warners. Oh, what's it? What's it? What's SU. What is SU? That's a good question. <laughs> All right, exactly okay. What it All right. For. Let me just get. There we go. SU is anything. It's just SU, right? <laughs> right. That's what I was so let's, uh, let's start it up. Shut that down. <laughs> Come on out. <laughs> Wonderful how the exhaust has that little shape. So smooth under the hood. It sounds like a Swiss watch. I mean, it's like it's just perfect. Lou, let's uh, let's shut the hood and we'll have you stand right next to it. Okay. One big pull. It comes back there. Lou, what a treat. What a fun car. So glad you brought it out. I know that these are all cars that are chosen, so I'm glad your car was chosen. What a treat. Thanks for being on my car store. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.